All right, let's play this here and play this and loop it. Very cool. I like it. And then we also have a front and side view. It's very cool. It's very good stuff in the head already. Little tweaks I would do here. Looking at this one, I think the main thing I'm seeing here is, is that's being awesome. Um, I would I would find a way to bring in those toes just a bit more so that on this like I don't see anything in there yet. Uh, it might just be also too subtle. I mean it's slightly there, but just visually it could be interesting to bring these guys in a bit more. We might just exaggerate that a little bit and then so that boom on this we have a little bit more spreading on the plant through here, a little tiny bit of a pause and then through here on the squash. Just that bit. Um, but yeah, good stuff in here. The tail works. There's definitely more impact on the head, on the walks. There's some nice shoulder work there. This feels a lot fleshier and less linear and hitting. It's great. It's really cool update. For this, the only thing I would say, uh, as I was looking at some reference there, I think you can, you can potentially bring in the back a bit more together but i would i would have a stronger arc they have a slight feel of moving fairly straight i can see how it comes back in through there maybe i'm reacting to how almost evenly spread they are just a little bit of um just bringing maybe just one side further in just for that um organic offset so it's not so um, what's it called? Mirrored. It's funny, through in this view, I can see the toes a lot more. It's definitely working there. And then you have it through there. It might just be that view. It's definitely much better in the front view. And you got your angle on the paws there. Yeah, we're just bringing, probably bringing in just the toes in a bit more, cupping these a bit more. Not cupping, but just bringing them a bit more together, almost as a slight exaggeration, potentially. And then the only thing I would say is on the head impacts, I think I would exaggerate the left to right rotation. Just a tap more on impact. Because there's such cool stuff here, left and right going on in the chest and the shoulders, and how this swings over and pulls the head. I want to feel a little bit of a rotation down this way on the head. Just a bit. I see there's good stuff in there. We just have a little bit of that in there just to elim eliminate the last couple of percent of the IK head feel. It's very cool. And if you extend this cycle for a little bit, you can have a bit of an open mouth, some adjustment in there, some ear flicks. And then also here, maybe just have one lower than the other. Just give it that organic offset. My argue is extremely picky that the stop on that on that tail is almost a bit harsh. It's almost too heavy. I almost feel like this is looking at this side a bit. This is so picky, but it's almost like you want to reduce the base part a bit and then but have leave it the way it is there so that this swings a bit less and then fans out to this swinging the way you have it now. It almost feels like a big mass. The whole thing going left to right. Again, it's super picky. Well, like, as a whole, watching this is very cool. Let me see here. It's very cool. I have to go back and forth with that loop. Just watch out for here that you're as long as this is impacting, impacting, contacting the ground, that the spacing is even. You know, as you go from here, as you go down, especially the last two, especially with this one, this still seems like a full impact, or impact contact as you roll out of it. But as it gets smaller, um, it just that will be a slide if you if you actually move this from A to B. Feels better on this one. Even though it feels like this is a smaller spacing than before. And then after it feels bigger. 
Just watch out for a tiny bit of insane pickiness. Yeah, I'm looking at lines and, and you know, the overall fleshiness is great. I wonder if you have a shape in that middle that can bring... Not that you want to bounce more up and down. This just has that feeling of all of the influence on the enveloping and the geometries there. And then here it feels... It could be more. It's probably just me. Just ignore. Ignore that. Ignore that note. It's really cool. I'm really just trying to find stuff because why not? I can torture you with more notes, but... I like it. Yeah, the biggest thing to me watching this is that it's just the head has a slight IK feel where it's it's very smooth given the impact. So if there's one note that if you think about addressing something right away, to me it's that head. It's a tricky thing to get rid of the, the aspect of all that stuff here is moving beautifully, but then it feels like this is a disconnect and then this head is doing something else on the controller. That would be the biggest thing. And then just adding more organic offset where you know, maybe one of the legs is further in and then one of the ears is it down you can even go as far as this and if this is a horizontal thing where the head is in a constant slight tilt to the side just minimal but just giving that organic quality of just the messiness and giving uh taking away any of the default lines and or mirrored um type of poses it's very 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 cool i have to say thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.